Hi everyone, welcome to Code Kamkaji YouTube channel. I hope everybody are doing good. In the last video, we had discussed about how to log a machine learning model into MLflow. And by continuing that series, today we will be discussing about you know, how we can create a model registry, how we can log a model instead of the you know machine learning model registry instead of MLflow. So stay tuned till this video. You will get a bunch of information about like you know how we can log a model instead of model registry and all the information we'll be discussing you know in this video. So let's jump into the concept. So you know the first one is what is a model registry. So you might have seen like you know source code management like GitHub, you know, where you keep all your version, different versions of code. Similarly, we are going to keep a machine learning model with the different versions and different tags into MLflow registry. So you can compare with the source code management, like you know, it can be GitHub, GitLab, or any other source code management. So there itself, you are going to keep your source code with different versions and based on the branches and based on the tags. So it is centralized to everybody. Similarly, in MLflow registry, you are going to you know store the uh, entire machine learning models with the, you know, different kind of uh, versions and different stages and different metadata and different tags so if you take a typical uh, you know the definition here the model registry in a ml flow is a centralized storage and management system for machine learning models and it provides the functionality to manage the life cycle of your machine learning models including version stage and metadata management so which means it is kind of a centralized place where everybody can come and push their you know all uh, you know different varieties of machine learning models with the different trained uh, you know models and different data sets and all and this is a place where you can you know mention or you can add all different versions of your machine learning models because being a machine learning uh, engineer in day to day you might work with hundreds of versions because you would like to get the good you know metrics while you are training and doing the you know hyperparameter tuning so that is why we need a place not only we, we mean to we mean to say that like as a team, not an individual. So even if you are working an individual, you might work on different varieties of models. Even you require a registry to track all your you know machine learning models. That is how MLflow is helping everybody to track all your machine learning models with the different versions and descriptions and the tags and the accuracy values and all the information gets stored here and punched into this registry. So. Now we have the key features with this MLflow model registry. The first one is, you know, versioning, staging, metadata management, and tagging, and model signatures, and integration with MLflow tracking, and access controls. So you can, who would like to give access, like, you know, view, edit, deploy models, and deployment integration, such as, like, a build, uh, dev, stage, and any other environment. And search filters based on your varieties of versions. So these all the features are provided by this ML uh, flow model registry. And these all the features you can take advantage of it and you can customize all your machine learning model while you are registering into uh, ML flow registry. So that's all about the ML flow model registry. And we'll jump into the practicality, how we can create a model registry uh, into ML flow. What, what code do we need to use to register a model and how we can add the description and all information we'll see into the practical. Before that, I just would like to show you some, you know, uh, technical terminology called as model signature. So model signature is referred to like, you know, the it's just going to describe the, what is the input and output uh, schema for your machine learning model, which means like, you know, if you'd like to share this machine learning model to somebody, so you, while you're sharing it, so if you have created the model signature, the other party would understand what is the input features or what is the input specification for this model and how it will give output as a data. So it's going to predefine information that you are going to uh, you know, mention along with your model. So that's called as a model signature. So we'll discuss this model signature uh, more into the upcoming session. So just for heads up, I just have brought this over here. Fine, so we have gone through the definition. Let's go to the practicality. Uh, so I'll clear the session, this screen, and I'll come from the beginning. So I have not done much complicated code here. So already we have discussed about like, you know, all the libraries, load data and, you know, train data. And like, you know, I'm going to take the here as a logic segregation and with the max iterator 1000 and 
So it is my prediction and I'm going to calculate the accuracy into y, and, uh, y test and y prime with the accuracy of 2f. And here I'm going to use the interest signature as x text, uh, x text and y text. So here I'm adding my uh, MLflow UI and I'm going to uh, call my experiment name as uh, my first test experiment. And uh, after that, I'm going to start my entire, uh, you know, MLflow runs. So here I'm going to mention my model name as a registry name. And I'm going to give the description of my, oh, you know, this, this particular uh, model and who was created, that was me, so shake. And here first I'm going to log the model and later I'm going to create the registry. So this snippet is related to, you know, uh, logging the model. So we have already discussed about it. So here I'm going to take advantage of a client uh, and I'm going to register a model here. So the model name would be, uh, so uh, say so registry name would be the model name. So here you can look into that. So this is my model name and this is my model name. So that's why I mentioned as a, my first model registry. So which is going to map as the same to the your registry name. And this is the description of your, you know, entire the, uh, uh, this particular one. And here I'm going to add the tax, which is the registry of my model and the versions, because like, you know, whenever you're, uh, uh, you know, punching all your machine learning model into your MLflow. So every time it has to append the version. So that's why I'm going to call the version as a version. After that, it's a numerical number, one, two, three, up to n number. Because as a machine learning engineer, every day you might work on a number of versions of your machine learning model. So that's why it is better to maintain a version of your machine learning model. So that's why I given a version with the starts with the one. And uh, this statement related to that, so which, which retrieve the latest versions, which is which is going to register. And after that, like in this uh, descriptions and tags, which is uh, very similar, like you know how we can add the tags, who was created, and accuracy. These all information get punched into your machine learning model log level. And after that, I'm going to uh, iterating via my key and values with the tags and items, and I'm going to call the uh, names, versions, and key values. And after that, I'm going to print the uh, model name and latest version on my CLI. So that's all about like, you know, basic introduction about our information, how we can, uh, you know, log a model first and later how we can uh, register the model under one registry with the name that you have added here. So this is the all the snippet code and, you know, it is going to be similar for all the machine learning model and up to you how you would like to customize it. So in my case, I don't want to make any complicated things. So that's why I brought very simple way of, you know, registering the model. But yeah, as a machine learning engineer, so it, in a productionized best practices, you can do a number of customization along with your source code. So let's go to the practicality after discussing the source code. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this code. So it will, uh, you know, takes a bit of time to get run my entire source code. So first it will uh, punch the model into the ML flow and later it will, uh, you know, register the model. So it has been successfully registered. This is my model registry with the version number two. Uh, let me go here. So I'm going to refresh it. So my experiment name is my first experiment. And here if you see this one, 15 seconds ago, it has been, you know, logged the model. So if I go inside, you can come here and you can press on this register model. It will take to your reg model registry. Or what you can do, you can come here and the models. And after that, you can look into that. Like this is my registry name that I have given as my model name. So my first model name, uh, my first model registry. So if you press enter, I'll have the version two. Because before starting this video, I just uh, simply run uh, simply run one experiment. That's why it has logged the version one. But yeah, just now it has ran another version called as version two. And these were my, you know, uh, description of my model and accuracy that have we have used in the tag section, right? If you go here, uh, if I come down, so here, if you see this one, all the model type and you know, and the data set framework accuracy created with this all has been comes under the uh, tag section, and it, it is more dynamic. Like you know, you can look into that what is accuracy was created, what is the data set, and what is the framework, and what is the model type. You can get and all the information over here and what is the description of this particular model and who what what time it has been registered what was our last mod for time and source run so this is the run where it has been uh, sourced so under one experiment it has run uh, you know this particular on this particular run if you click on this so i'll get all the information so we have discussed all about like you know models ml model corner.yaml so if you would like to share to somebody uh, if they have a corner environment so you can share to this uh, all the files so this is all the information about like, you know, uh, registry of uh, MLflow and under one registry, you can have a uh, number of 
versions of your machine learning uh, models. So what I will do, I will run other uh, you know ex, uh, uh, runs on the same experiment. So what it will happen? Uh, it is do. Yeah. So so I learned the same source code. Now it will log the version with the version three. So currently we have version two, and uh, you know I haven't done much changes, but I just for shocking case, like you know every time whenever you run, it will append one extra experiment as a uh, extra run as under one experiment. So if you see this one, we have the version three. If I go to the model section, so under my my first experiment, I have the two experiments. So this is how you know uh, you can have the a number of machine learning model. Uh, you know, uh, you know first you can log it and later you know you can uh, keep all these models under the uh, one. Uh, you know registry of machine ml flow and you know can get tracked all all the you know machine learning model and if you'd like to share to somebody so you can you know make a collaboration between your entire team members and if you have a bunch of people and you know if you would like to make all the uh, you know uh, runs uh, to be under one registry uh, with the experiment so you can add it and you can do the customization also you can add a multiple experiments uh, names with under a single uh, registry so it's up to your uh, uh, customization you would like to do it so yeah so yeah i, I hope uh, it is clear for everybody of uh, you know model registry in ml flow and you know if you haven't get cleared uh, about this explanation i request you to drop your comments in comment section i'm happy to reply you back so yeah that's all for this lecture and thank you for watching this video and share it to your friends and family members who would like to learn uh, ml flow and uh, ml ops and uh, you know upcoming technologies and um, thanks for watching bye bye